Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I want to show off my new project and that is of course Primaris. Why wouldn't it be Primaris? I'm an Imperius, uh, Primaris fanboy. Um, but it's my Imperial Fists and um, this is just the start of it. I'm going to be building on this of course. Um, but I just I, I just want to show you off the first the, the, the first stuff I've produced because I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, I've always been scared of painting yellow and um, I think I finally got the grasp of painting yellow and the results and what stuff is looking like, I'm, I'm, I'm just over the moon. So um, I, I, I just want to show some stuff off. I think we should start with the big the big guy first. Let's let's we, we, I think we should always start with the big guy. So this is my Redemptor Dreadnought. And as you can see, it's in the glorious yellow. It's the Imperial Fist colours, of course. We're we're actually yellow. A lot a lot of people get this confused and get this mixed up. But the Imperial Fist are yellow, so it gives the enemy a chance. So they can see us from a distance because we're that good, we're that awesome, that we need to give the enemy a bit of a head start. Just ask the Iron Warriors. They never win against us, even though we give them the, 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 a massive head start. <laughs> so this is my Redemptor Dreadnought. It all opens up. Hopefully it won't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh, it's all stuck down for now. I'll have to pry it open. Um... So this is my Redemptor Dreadnought. Sorry, the lights uh, may be a bit overpowering on this. But um, the yellow, I think the yellow turned out really, really nice. I've got to say, um, of course, um, I put a guide up on my channel how to do the yellow. So if anyone's wondering how to do that, um, I'll even post it like in the top comment and like pin it there and put it in the description of the video and stuff like that. So if you want to know how I achieved this yellow, the battle damage... Is all on it, as you can see. If I just put my hand around it so it doesn't blur out. Um, I'll probably do another video on how to do this kind of battle damage. Um, with another vehicle, which I'll be showing off. Well, it's not been built or anything, but I'll be showing off in the box in a second. Um, but yeah, the, the battle damage, I wanted to really... You know, just give it that kind of, you know... This guy's in a battle. He's not just sitting behind the lines like an ultramarine or something like that. And the base. The base is snower. A lot of you guys say, hey, you, you, your other guys were snowy as well. I've done that for a reason. So, for example, this is my executioner one. Um, the snow is a bit brighter than this one so far because I haven't put any um, pigments on it yet. So, that's the next stage of putting pigments on it and stuff like that. But I want to deploy all my chapters or have the opportunity to deploy them all as one. Let's call it the last war protocol, as you will. So, if I tend to, well, if, if I decide to do Crimson Fist, Sons of the Phoenix, Excoriators, or something like that, I can base them like this, and then I can deploy them all and just say, hey, it's last war protocol activated. So, that's the kind of theme I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with with my Imperial Fist. I'm going to base them just my, like my Executioner, so when, they're, when they are all deployed, these guys come out, and they all look like they're fighting together. It's the Brothers of Dawn. Returned as one, purging in the Emperor's glorious name. Right, let's get rid of Larry. Get over there, Larry. Right, so, like I said, um, this is how it turned out. I'm really, I'm, I'm awesome. I put the flamer on it. I put the rockets on it. Of course, I'm probably going to say this is a Gatling cannon. These are bolters because of the rules and stuff. I just went with the rule of cool. That's all I went with. A lot of people saying, hey, why did you put rockets on instead of bolters? It's like, because I wanted to. It looks, I think it looks cooler. Um, the company I'm doing is Fifth Company because black trim is always the best. Black and gold go together so well. So uh, Fifth Company, a little marker on his um, knee pad here. Um, like I said, snow and stuff. Some some uh, campaign markers, Imperial Fist badge here. Big Imperial Fist badge there. I was thinking of putting something here, but I just, I just, I've, mo I've mostly left this blank and just kept it as uh, the normal yellow. I didn't put any rockets on him because all my other dreadnoughts have rockets and I, I just wanted this guy to stand out a little bit, so... I kept the rockets off this guy, and of course he's got the Gatling cannon over here as well. So if you want to brrp stuff, then this is the guy that's got to brrp the stuff for you. Right, let's move this guy back in the background over here. Go away, Larry. And um, this is the captain. I've just completed, should I say, if I just take the eye, uh, the exposure off here, hopefully it'll change the lighting settings a little bit. Um, so this is the captain I've just finished. Um, I, I've... I really wanted to give him, like, a kind of a bold, like, over there, purge, follow me, brothers, that direction kind of, you know, feel. And I think, I think I've captured it with this guy. So, um, the arms and stuff, because a lot of people have asked me this, it's basically this librarian. Um, of course, this librarian's kit bashed as well. This is my, um, execution librarian on the Dark Angel torso with some skulls and stuff added. But it's basically these arms. I just cut off the wires, as you can see, um... You know, filed down like the librarian symbols here, 
Um, I cut this sword off here so it looks like he's he's got like a clenched fist, and I just stuck like a black Templar sword um, to his thigh. Like he, you know, he's, he hasn't unsheathed it yet. He's not in battle. He's just you know arranging everyone to go into a certain direction. So that's basically the arms I used off the um, the Primaris Librarian. Um, the backpack is off the. Um, birthday captain i switched the backpacks around the birthday captain is going to have um, just this normal captain backpack um when it comes to shoulder pads i used a mark free shoulder pads from the horus heresy i wanted to give this guy like a little bit of veteran sir so um i just gave him you know the rule of cool when it comes to the shoulder pads this is like just normal captain sh shoulder pad on here and stuff like that but um yeah i think i think he turned out I think he turned out nice. I'm really, really pleased how this guy... I think I'm going to put, like, a decal on here, like a fist. You see, like, at the top on the shield and stuff like that. I think I'm definitely going to put a decal. Okay, it looks a little bit bare at the moment, I must say. Um, but, yeah, I think he definitely has that kind of veteran badass kind of look. And you can see I've, I have done a little bit of battle damage. I can just get it in there. Not too much. Um, not like the Dreadnought, because obviously the Dreadnought's going to be smashing through buildings and stuff like that but this guy has got a little bit of um battle damage on him his shoulder pad is like scratched up here and there and all that kind of stuff when it comes to the trim i paint this guy is silver and um, just for me to mark these guys as like hq choices so um um the the lieutenants lieutenants however you want to call them they'll be like silver and stuff like that when it comes to um you know, pieces like, you know, stand out like eagles and all that kind of um, stuff. Right, um, there's one more thing I want to show off. And this is just, this was my first ever um, yellow paint scheme. This is my Imperial Fist. Um, uh, the first one I ever done, uh, just to see if I could actually do it. And it turned out, again, I think it turned out very, very decent. I really like how the yellow turned out. The tutorial, again, is on my channel if you want to check it out. But um, I'm very, very pleased. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now is that um it's just these guys which i have left from the imperial fist box set at the moment just these hell blasters i've got some aggressors as well um so i'm going to be painting these guys as imperial fist i think i'm going to buy another 10 intercessors as well um at the moment but i've i've mostly got like um aggressors and inceptors at the moment so i'm going to be painting them as the imperial fists i've also got the shadow space stuff so this guy has just got the base coat um of uh, the yellow on it at the moment i forgot what the bloody yellow is called now um there it is uh, it is avalon sunset of course i don't know why i had a senior moment so um most of the shadow spear stuff is going to be well all the shadow spear stuff is going to be imperial fist as well so i will have a nice little force and of course when i mix them then with stuff like my executioners and we all deploy together i've got like um, the Reclaimers of Dawn guys I still need to do as well. I know I haven't I haven't left them out. The Reclaimers of Dawn are still happening. They will be getting the same treatment as well. They are not Iron Warriors, how dare you? Um so yeah, again I'll have the Reclaim I'll have the Reclaimers of Dawn, I'll have the Executioners and Imperial Fist. And then hopefully down the line I can add some Crimson Fists, some Black Templars, Excoriators, all the cool stuff, and then my cabinet will be like last war protocol in effect and i'll absolutely love it the thing i'm going to be working over this weekend is this guy because thanks to one of my subs um uh, demonicon he's one he's actually he's my longest member um on the channel so far um he went to i forgot which event was just in the us now was it adepticon i think it was adepticon and he picked this up for me so um, i'm going to be doing this guy as an uh, as an imperial fist um lieutenant very, very soon, Lieutenant, Lieutenant, however you want to say it. Now, there's one more thing. Of course, I can't do an Imperial Fist without um, something big. Let me just get these out of the way. Um, sorry, brothers. But I did buy a Repulsor. I know you... I know, I know, I know. I know. I, I, I am not a lover of the Repulsor um, at the moment. Um... But it's the only thing that gives me last cadence as a Primaris. I, I tend to do all my stuff as... Well, all my stuff is Primaris only. And um, this is the only thing that has last cadence, which is Primaris only. Um, and it's the only thing that can transport my Primaris as well. Because we haven't got a dedicated transport. Soon, brothers. Soon. So, um, yeah. I, I, I bought that. So, um, this weekend, um, I'm going to be assembling uh, the Lieutenant and the Repulsor and get some paint on him. 
and all that kind of stuff. But for now, this is where I'm at. Um, really looking forward to this journey. Hopefully, I'll have like um, monthly updates on 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 the Imperial Fist Force and how it's going and everything like that. Um, I've mentioned this on my Facebook page and my Twitter. Um, but this summer, um, I'm planning to do um, an event at Warhammer World, for those of you who are in the UK, or for those of you who've got the money to fly over to the UK, um, where I want to do it, maybe get like 10 people, like 5 aside or something like that, and we do Imperial Fist slash Successors, so they have to be a legit successor, um, so like Crimson Fist, Black Templars, um, Excoriators, you know, that kind of stuff, slash, you know, of course, Imperial Fist, versus Iron Warriors, it's got to be a grudge match, it's got to be a cage match, it's, <laughs> it's got to go down, Mark 2, no Ultramarine players can come and try and save the day, you guys can all piss off, um, but yeah, that's what I really, really want to do, so if you're interested in something like that, then just let me know in the comments, or come over to my Discord and stuff, um, I've got, I really haven't planned anything so far, I've just, just an idea in my head, to have Imperial Fist slash their successors versus the Iron Warriors. I think it'd be really, really cool, really, really awesome to get all those fanboys over one table and settle this grudge once and for all. Right, that is me done for another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any comments at all, um, any advice or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'd, love, I'd love to hear it and speak to you and stuff about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all very, very soon. Have a great day and bye-bye. See you now.